a fight for the right to be number one. It's a coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, it's a battle of the top two teams in the AFC West, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Oakland Raiders. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. The pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with Phillip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They're halfway home, looking good at a perfect 8-0. And not much to complain about so far, is there? I'd have to say they're the best team in the NFL through the first half of the year. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. Here's Desmond King on the return. And it winds up a terrific return, but markers are down. And this is going to come all the way back. back. Return team. First down, Rivers. And this one complete to Virgil Green. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Hold him under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On third down, Rivers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. DeAndre Washington, his first carry. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A first carry now for Marshawn Lynch. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Corey Liggett makes the stop. A look now at the Oakland offense. Come out of the backfield is Marshawn Lynch. There was so much attention on him in 2017. On second down, Lynch. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Time to roll through the defensive starting lineup for the L.A. Chargers. They come into this one ninth in the NFL against the run. I jotted down on my notes in prepping for this game that this is definitely an area we got to keep. Now Carr. He completes it to Bryant. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They'll run for the first time with Hill. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul, face mask, defense. into the red zone. It's Carr. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Jared Cook, his first touchdown on the year. There also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Now Rivers going to get to Gordon on the draw. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. As they come up third and 10. Throwing Rivers. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Green. 
And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They start the drive with Lynch. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Now Carr throwing on second down. He finds Lynch. It's complete. Carr to throw on third and one. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. On first and ten, here's Carr. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he goes down. Easy, easy. Kill, kill. Carr gives to Marshawn. And able to work his way down to the 16. to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Richard on the toss. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Now Gordon on first down. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Second down, Rivers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Going underneath for Gordon. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. To make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Now Rivers on fourth down. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And this is complete. It's Allen. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. He's to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. In for the score. Throwing on first down is Carr. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. On second down, Washington. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Throwing his car on third down. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Shotgun now for Carr. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. He'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And able to break one tack. Second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he was able to shed the tackle. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. 
A 10-yard pickup, but it's enough for a Charger first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up over the 25. Rivers now on second down. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Rashawn Melvin. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. They were forced to punt last time. Now, I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. First down, the run with Lynch. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch. This is caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. This is Gordon on the dump off. A first down throw here for Rivers. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. You have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. To throw on third down, Rivers. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he slips up past the 45. Rivers now to throw on first down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It's a gain of five. And that'll make it second down. So we've reached halftime here in Oakland with the Raiders on top. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where it was the Chiefs who were able to come away with the home victory. Tyreek Hill. Over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. From there, we head out west to the Golden State. Check on the Rams at home in L.A. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. Jared Goff with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh. Check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field. And it was the visiting Carolina Panthers who were victorious in that one. Cam Newton. Two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles David. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Car now on first down. Flushed out right. And some room to maneuver. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Here's a give to Lynch, and he stopped immediately there. On second down, here's Carr. Flush to his, and a big loss here as he's taken down. To throw, it's Carr. And incomplete, the contact made the ball roam free. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back from the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. Ready, Delta! They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the fort. Play fake here on first down. 
He's airing it out for Williams. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. They've kept their minute by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away. And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. From the gun, Rivers. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And almost picked off. Throwing now is Carr. Eluding the pressure right. Fighting to stay upright. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that. On the handoff, Lynch. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Now Carr on the bootleg. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. Get down, get down. Do it. On the give, this is Lynch. And he's going to be met at the line. On play action, it's Carr. And he completes it to Jordan Nelson. A tenth carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Holding offense. They go play action here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. From midfield, here's Carr. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. On third and long, it's Carr. High throw, but he makes the catch. Tavecchio puts this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. Holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. On first and ten, Rivers. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it. They need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time? Hopefully with a chance to win. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Johnson. Carr gives to Lynch on the draw. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Hey, 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 hey. Now, what is it? They'll run again with Lynch. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Now Carr. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And he'll be brought down short of the 15. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. And they'll bring him down at the 13. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Get down, get down. They run it again with Hill. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll run with Lynch. And that's going to go as a loss of six. He'll get it up the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Carr now on third and goal. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. This will be a 34-yard attempt.
The kick by Tavecchio is good. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play. Rivers now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now Rivers. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. Rivers again. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is incomplete. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Carr going to throw here. Flushed out right. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And finally, down he goes. On first and goal, Washington. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Trying to pound it in with Washington. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. DeAndre Washington. Some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Throw the out route incomplete. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Caught left side, Williams. And getting this just shy of midfield. First down, Rivers. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And they'll get him down. On first and ten, Rivers sets up the screen to Gordon. And he'll go down. One last shot now for Rivers. And this is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He's got his man. It's Williams. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And, Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one. Exactly right. When you start a season, everyone's goal. Win all of your home games, split your road games, and you're likely going to be in the playoffs. But when you win at home, boy, what a great feeling that is. You don't even mind if people are at your house when you get home after a win like that.